Valentine's Day is tomorrow and local florists are awaiting one of the busiest days of the year, but things are costing more this time around because of inflation. Our Zara Barker talked with people in various stages of that process from a flower grower in Oceanside to a florist in Vista. She joins us now with more Zara. Kathleen, you said it earlier, it is crunch time for these local florists all across San Diego County. We are in Vista after talking with the owners of Crozier's Flowers who say just on Valentine's Day alone, their sales more than triple. But this year it is costing people a little bit more for their bouquet of flowers. Valentine's Day gets pretty chaotic. There's three things that never fail this time of year. Roses are red and violets are blue and dozens of people wait last minute to order their Valentine's flowers. Today the phones have been going off the hook because guys kind of realized, oh, now that I'm done planning a party, I can focus on flowers for my girl. While local florists are getting ready for their busiest day, which is of course Valentine's Day, local warehouse Milano in Oceanside says Valentine's Day for them is already over. This is the last online order Valentine's flowers heading out of Milano and Company's flower farm and warehouse in Oceanside, ready to get on a plane and be delivered all across the nation. Mother's Day and Christmas is a little more of a season. It can be spread out, but Valentine's Day is February 14th, so we have to be very efficient. This is a pageant style bouquet. But Crozier's flowers in Vista say their busiest day hasn't hit yet. Last year, I remember us staying till 9 o'clock at night because people were still flooding in. So we'll be available ready for for any customer and try and send them with something they love. The National Retail Federation says a majority of people plan to spend an average of $192. That's up from the average of $175 last Valentine's. Both Milano and Crozier's are seeing people spending more and it's likely because of inflation. Things definitely cost more. We had to raise a lot of our prices and that was hard for our customers who have been coming here for 50 years. Things are a little more expensive now than they were with inflation and everything else. But last year, 25% of Americans bought flowers on Valentine's Day, whether it was for a sweetheart, a teacher, you know, they bought flowers. It's a $2 billion holiday for our industry. So for everyone watching at home, this is your final and official warning. Super Bowl is over. Make sure you head out to your local florist and grab those Valentine's flowers. But before we get to Valentine's Day, we heard it was somebody's birthday back at the station, Kathleen. These flowers are from the Milano farm stand in Oceanside. So Ben, my photographer and I are going to bring these back and they, these will be waiting on your desk, Kathleen. Oh, I'm so deeply touched. Thank you so much. That's very kind. Our Zara Barker tonight. <laughs>